Hey everybody, John Huber here from the Maryland Education Network. Talk to you about the fourth um, component of the current commission's recommendations. Uh, I'm going to go through them a little bit. Uh, the, the, the fourth one is, is just essentially about more resources. Um, it is, you know, just kind of additional on top of what was already outlined in the pre-K. Um, information. If you see my one one of the videos I did about the, the whole pre-K recommendation, there's information on that, um, and just about every other component. But now this is is even more um, additional resources on top of all that. So let's talk about it real quick. This is the fourth recommendation. Essentially, more resources is what it's titled, or uh, what it's titled is more resources. Um, they're talking about a poverty weight to funding schools you're talking about creating a, a looking at schools and their funding ability and creating a a formula for a weight to you know the the more that the, the term they used was distressed communities um and to get that in um in these schools and create what they're calling community schools um and they they, they, they kind of danced around a little bit they never actually said what would specifically create a poverty school and what would not create a poverty school but what they did do is they did talk about creating a what then they've used this term throughout the report a, a sliding scale to to eliminate the cliff effect you know you, you you up to a certain point you get all the services and then you know one dollar less than you don't get or more than you'll get any services you know that kind of thing so these community schools that they speak of will have extended um, among other things just like there's like 12 or 15 of them. I just, high, you know, every one of these recommendations has, you know, 10, 12, 15 bullet points under each one. So I'm just trying to highlight the, the thing, the um, give you the highlights. And again, I encourage you, please, you got to read the whole report. You know, even what all the stuff I've done is just, is, it's just the beginning. Anyway, these community schools extended learning time. Um, on top of, if you remember the, in the pre-K, we talked about, um, before and after school programs, six and a half hour days, um, just more time on top of that. Additional social workers and counselors, um, food programs at these schools, behavioral health programs at these schools, student enrichment experiences. I, I don't, they never really said what that means. I, I mean, you could probably fill in the blanks on your own, but I'm not exactly sure. But student enrichment experiences is what they um, is what they listed, and professional development for the staff of these community schools. They talk about uh, training the staff to recognize mental health issues and in particular dedicating more MSDE staff to facilitate that whole progress. There's a whole nother floor of, of people in Annapolis to manage this particular part of the program. Revise the special ed funding formula. Um, I'm not 100% sure exactly what they mean by that, but, but basically there's a formula. There's many of these formulas out there to determine how much funding it gets, these programs get per pupil. So I would assume that the special ed um, formula needs to be revised to be increased, I would assume. They also talk about the funding of uh, English language learners, people who don't who English is not their primary language. And they're also talking about refunding or um, revising the compensatory education formula. I'm not exactly sure what that means, what they mean by compensatory education. But anyway, these three formulas are going to um, be <coughs> revised to, I'm assuming, be increased. Um, and they also talk about transitioning away from the traditional way of, de of determining um, who gets a lot of these resources and fundings, which which actually makes sense to me. Um, in tradition, Traditionally, it has been... Um, the free and reduced meals, um, I used to call farms, and now there's another one, um, FRP something, I don't know. It's, it's people, they would take the list of people who were on free and reduced meals, or the numbers of students on free and reduced meals, and that would be the indication of the poverty level of the school. Well, they're, they're, they want to transition away from that because, according to what they're saying, is that there's a lot of programs out there where the entire school is on free and reduced meals. For whatever reason, the federal government has stepped in and they've, you know, so then it becomes <clears throat> very, very difficult to continue to, to track this. I can't remember what their alternative was, but it was, it was a different, um, it was a different way of tracking um, students to a, to a more accurate degree of um, who is in need and who's not. So that is pretty simple. It's just more, 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 um, a higher poverty weight to the, and fixed funding amounts to poverty schools and creating these community schools 
with extended learning, vision, dental, additional social workers, food and nutrition programs, behavioral health, et cetera, et cetera, trained to recognize um, mental health issues um, and increasing these formulas. Um, but I can tell you, if you look at if you look at the report, and again, read the report, um, every one of these things I mentioned has another list of you know six, eight, ten things underneath of it of what they're proposing to do. So don't think for a second you go, oh, you know, a couple extra counselors, uh, extended learning program. Oh, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. And and it does. And and again, I'm not here to convince you one way or the other. I'm just making sure you understand the enormity. Of, of what this whole commission is recommended. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the fourth um, one and regarding more resources. And um, again, I, I have a video, a separate video for each one of these um, um, of the five recommendations. And then I'll do a summary and, and I'll give you my opinion. And if you haven't found my, you haven't seen my opinion throughout here, I'll give you my opinion on it when it's all over. But I'm just trying to get, get through the facts. So anyway, um, read the report. And I hope you have a great day.